Cool new place on Washington to check out, Commonwealth. You're gonna love it. It's really got a great vibe inside and the food is amazing. And that's because of this guy, the executive chef, Chef Mikey. There you go. Which has, you have an incredible uh, resume. We'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, but some of this great food. For people who haven't been here yet, because you are new, what is the vibe? What do you want people to know about Commonwealth? Um, I just want them to feel like they're kind of at home, but also have a little bit of a high-end atmosphere while they're doing it at the same time. Well, and the decor is very cool. And you see, you guys did this. Yeah, we uh, actually retook the space and uh, really umped it up a little bit, like to the point where it's got a lot of texture and a lot of feel to it. Love the lit bar. Yeah, it's that neat, huh? It, just, cool. it brings you in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, let's get to some of this food. Now, you spent some time, if you look through your resume, you've worked in some pretty cool places, including Hawaii. Yeah, I spent uh, about three, three years in Oahu. On Tough Waikiki. Job. Uh, it was nice <laughs> to see the beach every day out of your oh, kitchen. Oh, yeah. I can only imagine. But I would also think the, the access to such great seafood really inspired you. Um, it totally pushes uh, a lot of the cuisine there. I mean, Hawaiian regional cuisine is one of those things. They do have other dishes, but but seafood is what really pushes that cuisine. Well, and you, you, we get some of this influence on the menu here, but it's not just about seafood. There's there's quite a nice selection. But let's start with the ceviche. Okay, so this is my play on ceviche. So I take uh, shimi grade fish. Um, I take big eye tuna from from Oahu, and then I also take Gulf snapper and um, salmon from the Atlantic and I slice it very thin, and then I toss it in a sauce that gives you like the texture and the feel and the taste of ceviche, and then I put my own fresh garnishes on top. Mm, and I'm smelling some basil that's just over the top. Delish. All right, and this chicken, this is a whole chicken. Yeah, so this is uh, off our roast menu. So we do a whole roasted uh, free-range chicken. Um, I actually cut it up for you guys, and then serve it like this with broccolini and potatoes and uh, pork belly hash. And look at those just perfectly crispy on the outside, soft on the yep. inside potatoes. Yeah, they're out of this world. Yum. All right, and that giant pork chop thing. Um, this is our uh, bone-in pork chop. It's uh, brined mm -hmm. in apple cider, and underneath it is braised fennel with white wine and a celery act puree. Just beautiful. And dessert fans, you guys have a pastry chef. Yeah, she's uh, actually my sous chef also. Her name's Kelly. She does an awesome job. And I told her for our first menu coming out that I wanted her to have fun with it. So our first dish is cookies and milk. <laughs> this is yeah. too cute. Yeah, comes with marshmallow fluff and actually uh, like a fudgy sauce on the side. I love it. Obviously a full bar and a great wine list too. Yeah, the wine list actually we just came out with it last week. So uh, we have about 40 by the bottle and about uh, 12 by the glass. All right, so it's yeah. Commonwealth seven days a week. This guy works all the time. Yeah, all, always here. <laughs> no. Well, and it's wonderful. Mikey, thank you. You're welcome.